Okay, welcome to Stress Month. I am chatting to Emma Reynolds. Emma, do you want to just tell us a little bit about what you do and then we will go on to stress? Yes, okay. So I am a mindfulness teacher and I basically uh, offer meditations for people who are dealing with stress and anxiety. So obviously perimenopausal can be well, a little bit stressful, can't it? I mean, life is stressful anyway, but when you start dealing with all the symptoms as well, it can be very stressful. So I thought maybe today I could do um, maybe a kind of like five minute practice. So shall I take over? Shall I, lead us, shall I, shall I guide us through? Absolutely. Okay. So for everybody that's watching, if you just want to find a nice, upright, dignified posture. So I sometimes say like a queen on their throne. What I mean is feet on the floor, yeah, bottom on the seat, and then that your spine is nice and straight with your head on top, okay? And just allowing your shoulders to widen out. You know, quite often we're sitting in front of the computer all day. It's just nice to let those shoulders be wide, okay? And it also just allows you to breathe more deeply, okay? And if you're ready, just close your eyes or lower your gaze, okay? Mm. And just notice how it feels to stop for a moment and just feel the body sitting here right now and just feeling connected with this moment. So literally feeling the bottom on the seat, feeling into the sensations of being here right now. And you may notice you have a busy mind, and that's perfectly okay. We all have busy minds. I'm just going to invite you to bring your focus back into the sensations in the body. So just feel yourself sitting here, breathing. And then move your attention down into your feet. And see if you can become aware of the soles of your feet. Perhaps you have an awareness of socks on or shoes. So not the idea of your feet, but the actual felt sensations right now. And allowing anything in the body that can soften to just soften. Maybe shoulder blades can just move back and down. And just checking in with your jaw. Can it just let go a little bit? Often it can be a place of tightness. Talking all day, feeling anxious or stressed or whatever you're feeling. And then even allowing your eyes to soften. And then just becoming aware of breathing. So breathing through your nostrils. Can you follow your breath all the way in? All the way out. And again, just all the way in. All the way out. And you may like to place a hand on your belly, on your belly button. And just breathe into that area. You feel your hand just moving gently as you breathe. And see if you can just allow that to be your focus for a moment. And then if you do notice you've got a busy mind, just noticing what you're thinking about. Are you in the past remembering? You maybe like to label it. Oh yes, remembering. Maybe you're in the future planning or worrying. And again, you can just label it. And then just come back to this next breath, coming in or out. And then noticing if any thoughts are driving emotions. 
So you can ask yourself, how do I feel right now? And just see what bubbles up. Is there a little bit of stress here or anxiety? Anger, frustration. Perhaps you're feeling a little sad or lonely or disappointed. See if you can observe this moment to moment experience without judging it as good or bad. So we're stepping out of the experience a little bit and just becoming aware. Oh, look, right now there is this emotion here, knowing that it changes. And then returning to the body again and exploring any tightness in the body because we feel our emotions. So when we get stressed, we go into fight and flight. This means that the body tenses up, maybe the heart beats faster. If you're anxious, you may find you have a knot in the belly or just below the sternum. We're just becoming aware of where there's tightness in the body. And again, just becoming the observer of the experience, becoming curious with how it actually feels and seeing if you can just let it be there without trying to fix it, wriggling around or anything like that, but becoming really curious to where does it begin, where does it end? Is it the same on both sides of the body? And you might like to imagine just sending a kindly breath into any areas of tension. Just creating a little bit more space there, oxygenating. And on the out breath, just letting go a little more. And then just returning to your breath. Breathing in. Breathing out. And then just as we start to begin to end this meditation, just become aware again, sitting here, on your bottom on the seat, Feet on the floor, maybe just listening to sounds around you for a moment. And then as you gently open your eyes, you might just like to look around the room to orientate yourself again, becoming aware of shapes and colors, and maybe just bringing a little bit of movement to the body, doing some stretching, rolling the shoulders, just anything that feels nourishing. Okay, and just notice how you feel right now. Is it the same as how you felt before? How was the body and how was the mind before and how is it now? And this isn't a difficult practice to do. It's just stopping, taking a moment, just arriving in this moment. So when we're stressed, the mind can be over here and the body can be over here. The body is doing something, the mind is worrying about X, Y, and Z. And what we're trying to do is just bring them in line, basically. And just taking a moment to stop, to pause in itself is already therapeutic. When we start to breathe and become aware of our breath, naturally, the breath, when we're anxious, the breath is sort of up here and it naturally starts to deepen. And as we do that, it takes us out of our fight and flight mechanism and takes us into more of a kind of rest and digest place where we feel more safe, more connected, more present, and more focused as well, which obviously is another bonus when you're perimenopausal because you can suffer a lot from, you know, brain fog and all the rest of it. So actually mindfulness also helps you to um, improve your focus a little bit as well.
So, Emily, how did you feel? How do you feel now? I feel a million times calmer. I did feel like I was chasing my tail earlier today. Yeah. So, <sighs> yeah, it's such a gift, isn't it? Mm. Just to um, take time out. And I think that will help so many people, you know, as we come into the run up to Christmas and as everything in the world just seems very weird again. I think if people can find that five minutes just to breathe, yeah. you know, guided by you, then that can that can only help. Yeah yeah yes I hope so I would just it's you know it's the gift that keeps on giving really you know there's no moment when we can't just come to our breath it's like not like we have to get on a yoga leotard and go somewhere there's just in any moment you can just go where's my head what am I doing are they are they lined up or not no they're not let me stop obviously this was what five seven minutes or something but literally you can there's a really quick practice which is stop and drop <laughs> can't be quicker than that to stop what you're doing and just drop whatever drama is going on in your head it's like is this serving me telling myself a million times over and over and over again I've got to send that email I've got to do this thing or that person wasn't right or this was unfair just go what would make me feel really good now just to drop it just drop it take a breath and move on or take a breath and actually with that calmness then go and communicate what you need from that person but you do it from a place of calm where you're more likely to be heard, you know, because often we go into those places already stressed, heightened, and then that person, they're just in defensive mode or they're in attacking mode and then we get into defensive mode. Whilst if we can go with calmness, then that's going to um, also help in relationships. Awesome. Thank you so much, Emma. Okay, thank you. <laughs>